Vishanya alongside Karina Cravens of the Healthy Living Learning Center. We are at Healthy Living and we are making the unfamiliar familiar today. Yes, that's correct. Um, we're going to do some chicken fried rabbit. All right. Um, it's game season. I think a lot of people don't know what to do with game. Right. Um, they want to use it, they want to hunt, they want to get their own meat, but they just have mm -hmm. no clue what to do. Rabbit is actually very similar to chicken, I find. Oh, um, okay. The only big difference is, is it has a very low fat content. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this rabbit. If you've broken down a chicken, this is actually very similar. And as you can see, we have these bottom legs, like the drumstick, the thigh. I'm just gonna find kind of where this meat begins to separate. So I'm just gonna cut around here, try to get through the meat. And then at this point, you take um, the body and the leg. I just wanna okay. find where it's gonna naturally break. See, and it gives a very clear defined area of where okay. to cut. You could remove the drumstick or leave it on. Let's take it off. Get my knife right through there. Pop it. Pop. Now, is there a, a specific knife that you want to be doing this with, or just? I use a chef's knife. And voila. So we've got two pieces. This is the upper body. All right. And we're going to kind of do that same thing. You just want to look into the meat and see where, like, right here is the bones, mm. right here is soft meat. So I want to bring my knife in between them, cut through all these little layers, get way down in there. You know, you hear rabbit, or like preparing a rabbit, and you think that it's going to be completely complicated and impossible. If you've broken down a chicken, it's literally exactly the same. Yeah, this is so easy. Totally. It's funny because these are arms, but they're even like similar to wings. Yeah. Do you see how it becomes white here? Yes. That's like our breast area. Okay. So we're gonna follow this bone and we're gonna cut right along it. And then kind of just rock our knife right up along there. And then you can see, I still kind of have this like back layer of skin attached, but I yeah. don't want this. Just take your knife, fish. cut right along there. Literally a rabbit tender. So this has silver skin, which can be hard for your teeth to break down. Mm. You can see there's just like this shinier skin. Right. You can just kind of take your knife, cut a little layer under all of that silver skin if possible. Okay. And then I'm gonna kind of peel up. Let me see if I can peel it. Oh, there you go. It's kind of peeling. Hey, it's off. There we go. Okay. Now I'm gonna get my rabbit soaking. You'll be able to find it on the recipe online but it's just buttermilk, cayenne pepper, um, garlic cloves, hot sauce, and a little Worcestershire sauce. Okay. So we're gonna put our rabbit in here. Okay. And then we're gonna let it soak for a long time. You could even do this the night before. This will help to really tenderize that rabbit. So our rabbit has been soaking. We're gonna take our flour here, a couple cups of flour. We've got some onion powder. This is garlic powder I'm adding now. Okay. Some cayenne pepper. Cayenne is hot, so be careful. One teaspoon of baking powder, because it just makes it a little bit more crispy. It kind of puffs up a bit more. And then we'll season this with a good amount of salt. A Little bit of black pepper in here as well. So let's mix that up well. We're let's gonna reach in, we're gonna dip. Okay. And cover these with our dredge. And you can dip them once or twice, it's up to you. The reason why I put it on the racks is because it allows air to be under here. And we want this to kind of form a crust. The more that you let it rest and the more you let it come together, let that moisture hit the flour, the flour is really gonna grip on when you go to drop it in the fryer. So we have our temp at 375 degrees. As you put these in, just give them each one last shake and set them very gently. We don't want them to stick together. And how long does this take? Um, this will take probably about eight to 10 minutes. We want the inside of this to be 160 degrees. Usually once um, your protein starts to float, that means that it's done. And perfect, look at how delicious that looks. All right, so we're just gonna whip together some honey butter. I'm gonna fire up my burner and take a half of a stick of butter, put it right in here. Okay. We're just gonna let that melt. We're gonna measure a half cup of honey. All right. So I put a little salt in there and I'm just gonna whisk this together and then we'll let it cool for a minute. I think that's like a perfect plate. You wanna try it? Yeah, let's, let's try it. Let's do it. My first rabbit. Hop to it. <laughs> right into that honey butter. Mmm. Wow. That's so good. That seasoning on there mm -hmm. is awesome. And the, the rabbit itself is so tender. So good. With the hint of sweet from that honey butter. Definitely. Oh Does it taste gamey? Not at all. It's delicious. So for a familiar twist on something a little different, you will definitely wanna try out this fried rabbit. It is so good. Thank you so much for watching. This has been In the Kitchen with Vanessa and Karina. Now.